Howdy, folks. It's the Creepy Kentuckian. And I'm Uncle Bill. Hi. We have a fun to video plan for y'all. It's going to be so much fun. Haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks. But we are on 1980... What is it? 1983? Oh, yeah. It's the year seems of 3D. Like, seems like we should be further along than that, to be honest with you. Well, these damn things go on forever, though, it seems. No. No, we're not. But you got to think, though. Like, 1983 was kind of a step back from the big slashers. I mean, you had like 80, 81, 82 was fucking insane because that was right after Friday the 13th. And it kind of starts to slow down in 83. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because more family-friendly films start getting released after like E.T. I'm not sure. But like as we go on, though, once you get to about 85, it starts to pick up again. So just it was coming yeah. in waves. So I think we've got, yeah, it's about 25 minutes uh, worth of slasher trailers from the classic year, 1983. We're going to get those queued up. And if you like this sort of thing, we did do 80, 81, 82 already. And we do all kinds of watch-alongs and shit all the time. So you so enjoy. Bust a nut. Yeah. Get ready. It's a red band trailer, boys. Oh my God. Turn that damn volume up. Jensen Farley Pictures. You know them, don't you, Uncle Bill? They are the distributors for what <laughs> classic slasher movie other than Curtains? Well, that went on for way too long. <laughs> what are your thoughts about Curtains? I think Curtains is kind of a good enough slasher movie. But it's, I mean, it's definitely not great. Um, I would say it's, I would give it like a 6 out of 10. Yeah. I, I'd probably give it about the same. Like, I love the uh, Synapse transfer and everything. Like, how much better it looks. Yeah, that was one that um, didn't come out on DVD or anything. I think it debuted on Blu-ray, right? Yeah. And it's Canadian. Which you, it was one that we only, at least I only ever saw on like DVD-Rs that somebody had done from like VHS tapes. And then, yeah, because the baby doll thing is on the cover. Right, yeah. Of the, the original artwork. There's a scene in it, though, that is one of the creepiest scenes. I hope they show something from it. The they ultimate didn't. nightmare. Which is like the ice skating scene with the chick and the yeah. sickle and all that, or the That's mask. That's the most, yeah, the most memorable yeah. scene in the movie but yeah that one was held up for rights issues i think because canadians do movie making a little bit differently than everybody else god have you seen this movie i have actually i think i've got it over there it's one god damn what a horrible fucking movie shot on video folks it's on shutter right now if you want to watch it anybody out there blood in your psyche until all the remains. Oh, so this is kind of a newer trailer. I don't think this one had a theatrical. Yeah, this had to be something that was like when when it was coming out for on DVD or something. Sledgehammer. <laughs> he pimp slapped him. Now, I remember we reviewed we reviewed this movie back in the day. We did, didn't we? Which this was like, well, this was the, his follow-up to Maniac, wasn't it? And I think, yeah. now they finished this one though, right? Didn't Trauma release this? Probably. He was really like into this kind of shit. I'm not sure why. Talking about Joe Spinell. Really. I don't really remember this movie that much. I'm, I'm positive we reviewed it though. We it did. May have been, it may have been Dark Sky Films that did it. I think it was. I don't think it was Trauma. Like Trauma puts out a lot of shit, and like, or they did put out a lot of stuff in the '90s and stuff like that. On but like, I don't think they did this. It's obvious to me that Joe Spinell would do whatever the fuck they wanted him to do on a movie. Yep. 
he was at the point in his career, I guess. Wasn't he? A, he was like an alcoholic, right? He was on drugs or an alcoholic or both. I remember, yeah. But he was a he was an amazing actor, though. Carolyn I kind of remember Monroe. this scene. Yeah, Carolyn Monroe's in this one too. So, but yeah, I guess they were just capitalizing on the popularity of Maniac. There was something uh, about her being in these movies too, where like a certain producer was the husband, so he put her in Maniac, and it's probably the same person that produced that too. Now, this is an example of one of those movies that has such a killer cover, but the movie itself is just not, not that It's not very good. good. No. But I do remember the cover quite a bit growing up. Um, video Sounds like anybody from around here. So this was kind of a gimmick, too, for horror movies. Motel Hell... And then I think this one was a little bit more popular on on video, if I'm not mistaken. But this yeah. was another one that too that uh, didn't Anchor Bay come out with this one back in the day? They did, yeah. And then here recently, uh, Vinegar Syndrome put it out on Blu-ray Death. But I tell you though, it's not anywhere near as good as like some of the other motel movies, like Motel Hell. I think they're using the Vinegar Syndrome trailer on this. Yeah, this trailer's cool. amazing looking, so they have to like be. They, they cleaned it up a little bit. How'd you get in here? Oh, I'm gonna kill you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Satan. Now, now this fuck. is one that I have never seen this movie. I remember a couple people talking about this. you never uh, seen Ovidia J. Asanius Presents Masterpiece? Ass Help me get out of here. <laughs> The uh, <laughs> Olivia Asantitis. <laughs> the um, I think Arrow came out with this on Blu ray, um, and I've heard a couple of people yeah. talk, talk about the movie, but I've never seen it. What an odd trailer. Oh God! I'll smack you in the head of the rock. They almost got that cannibal holocaust. Yeah, a lot of stingers. They bought that effect. There's a priest, randomly. Man, ass bitch. <laughs> I'm a dog. I bought you. I don't know how like. Looks like he's got a bunch of nickels in his fucking jowls. Yeah. How would any like this trailer sell anybody on this movie? It wouldn't. It's awful. That's what I'm yeah, I don't want to run out and buy this one anytime soon. They keep acting like like I'm seeing things, like I'm making it all up, like I'm crazy. Look, honey. Morgan Hart is kind of good looking, though. I'll give you that. You gotta love Morgan Hart. I Jerry Fu 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 Fujikawa. They had the cl they had to include this in the fucking trailer. <laughs> yeah, that's Good one night. of the worst trailers. Good night. I've ever buddy. seen. I'll see you tomorrow. Now that's fucking bullshit right there. That was yep. a real cat. Really? That looked like a real cat to me. Unless I'm blind in a bat. Can you just hang real cats? I don't think you can do that for movies. Even then. Well, it was made by a fucking Italian. That's true. The rules. <laughs> that poor turtle in Cannibal Holocaust. I still think about it. Yeah. <laughs> turtle gave his life. R.I.P. Turtle. That dog's just mauling dog shit out of everybody. That dog just hates the world. Oh, no uh, wonder it sounds like him. <laughs> oh, it's God. the same guy, yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. This trailer has lasted way too fucking long. I hope it's over. Yeah, that was ridiculous. 
I still kind of want to see it though. Ooh, totally oh, here you go. Mortuary. Mortuary. This is when the moon is full. We both just recently got, I think. Yeah. What's interesting is there's so many of these movies that had never been released on anything before. So what changed? Like ultimately 20, what would have been like uh, 23, 24 years after DVD came out, they finally decide, whoever owns these movies finally decides to release them. That's so weird. Good question. Like I guess they finally figured out like these boutique labels could make money on people by repackaging them and doing these really nice kind of releases now see that's all a trailer needs to be right there that's it this was not a bad movie i don't know if you remember this one or not we got this as a screener from code red i think and uh dana kimmel in this from uh, friday the 13th three yeah hey, i think she is movie she's in yep, there she her. is yeah <laughs> Don is Don Shanks in this somewhere too? Like, I mean, he may be. I want to say I thought he was in this movie, but it might be another one. I've only Patrick seen this, this movie once. That was the time we reviewed it, like in 2006, 2007, whenever it came out. But I think this one has a Blu-ray release, if I'm not mistaken. I think it does. Code Red puts out everything on Blu-ray now. Yeah. I'm sure it looks amazing from Code Red. This was one of their early DVD releases, though, I think. Yeah. I'll be there. Good night. Yeah, this is the best part of town for a little girl to watch it. I think it is there Don he Shanks. There he is. Yeah. It's not sitting, but it's Don Shanks. Nope. Don Shanks, for those of you who are wondering, was uh, Michael Myers in part five. Odd thing, too, about Don Shanks is he goes to conventions with the screen-used mask sitting at his table, and he just has it like on a styrofoam head, and that's it. Jesus. <laughs> you would think Nobody wants to steal it, I'd say. Somebody would just run off of that, you know, even though it is a terrible-looking mask. It is. That's what I was thinking. But still, it's... It's one of the original screen used masks, so somebody would want it, I'm sure. Am I losing my mind or did the sound drop out of this? I think the sound did drop out, yeah. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, did my head did my headphones go out or what? Somebody turn my headphones up. Yeah, he probably uh eighty slashers probably messed the editing up on this. We can't hear the audio no more on it. <laughs> I don't guess you need the audio for this though. Don Shanks looks like an evil Indian in this. Oh, uh, Native American, sorry. Yeah, evil Indian would be a good name for a horror movie. Could we start calling <laughs> him uh, Guardians? He's an evil guardian now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a evil guardian. That's right. An evil indigenous person. Just yeah. doesn't have the same ring. No. Yeah. Uh, the audio magically came back. There we go. The trailer on this, though, if they've cleaned the movie up that well on Blu-ray, it looks pretty good. It does, yeah. I don't have this on Blu-ray. Come think of it. No. I don't have this movie at all. So this may be one that I'd want to pick up. Oh. This is one of uh, ST3B's favorites right here. It is a great batshit movie. I just remember the guy from Red Sonja is in it with that has the big bone. Oh yeah. What was his name? You mean his actual Has name? Door or something like that. No, oh, his name in Red Sonja. I don't know oh. what his real name is. <laughs> I don't know what his name in Red Sonja is. I wonder if that guy got to keep his big bone that he had in Red Sonja as a Yeah, you got to keep the bone, man. Keep the big bone I prop. To, I need to rewatch this, but I I don't know. I to me, I didn't fall in love with it as much as some people. You're crazy. I am crazy. I'm a crazy, creepy motherfucker. 
this movie was fucking solid gold. Ava's been murdered. That's nonsense. He wants to kill me too. Bloody moon. So this movie was made in America by a bunch of Italians. Am I right? I don't know. Was he Italian or was he Spanish? The guy that directed it was named Juan Pakir Simon. Okay, so it may be Italian, Spanish, whatever. Same thing. Not really, but... You can tell, though, it's made... It was almost like a foreign movie, but it was made in America. Yes. It's got some scenes in it, though, that are just like... They don't even belong in them. It's kind of like Blood Diner. Like, you know the scenes in Blood Diner where you're like, where in the fuck did that come from? Like little Jimmy Hitler. Like, yeah, exactly. We yeah. need a little Jimmy Hitler t-shirt, too, by the way. That, that's one of the best, that. like, throwaway characters ever been in a movie. What if we did this for a t-shirt? Like, Hot Rod, but it says little Jimmy Hitler on it. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I don't know if anybody would buy that. But Pieces has, like, the random kung fu scene in it. Bloody Moon? Is that what they were there, calling it? There went the audio again. Wasn't Bloody Moon an alternate name for it, maybe? Must have been. Blue Star presents Boarding House. Now my audio is totally on fucked September up on it. I don't know about you. Oh, yeah. 1972. The Hoffman House was closed. We'll just continue. I haven't, I haven't uh, proofread any of this shit or not, but I'm just going to turn the volume down on mine. Fuck it. Oh, there is actually Bloody Moons on here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The yeah. art, they fucked the audio up on this. But we're just commenting on the movie, so it don't really matter. So Steve, Steve watched this one recently. Yeah. And uh, like a watch along, but I've never seen this movie. Don't know anything about it. I think that I've got it somewhere. I think it was one of those that uh, we got sent back in the day by Troma, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or is it some other movie that had almost the exact same name. Oh, God. Like, there was a bunch of movies that had blood and bloody in it, so I could be mistaken. We'll be next to check out Who's next? Goldberg. Where the red won't kill you, but something else will. I think the audio's fixed again, maybe. Rated R. It's kind of back on dragging it. No, I don't think it is. Hmm. <laughs> ah, fuck it, it don't matter. Titties. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on in this movie? You can't oh, tell anything about it from this trailer at all. No, there's just a bunch of titties in it and all the random all like women get killed by death. There's a saw though. Bloody moon. What's next? What's boarding house? About, who gives a fuck? <laughs> about boarding house? Now, this was a movie that Code Red did a release of it. And then there was some other small studio, I think it was like Slasher Films or something like that, that did like a director's cut. It's like a four <laughs> hour. It's like a four-hour version of Boarding House. I Man, if I remember it. correctly, Boarding House was boring as shit. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not the best, but there was some goofy, entertaining bullshit in it. Um, for some reason, I did think it was shot on video, but it doesn't look like it is. But yeah, Slasher Video or Slasher... Films or something like that. Some small, small label. I swear to God, it was like a four-hour cut of this. I'm like, oh my God. I, I remember the original cut of this movie. I couldn't hardly make it through. No, it was just so cheaply shot and shit that it was just ridiculously hard to watch. Oh, I'm God. trying to remember this movie... I get all these low-budget movies confused, but I could have swore this was a shot on... I think it is shot on video. 
I don't kind of remember that. Oh, we reviewed it. It's on Dead Pit on Patreon.com. I'm glad it's in Horror Vision, though. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I was Here's told one. I, needed, I needed to rewatch this. Yeah. Here's one that you uh, talk mad shit about. Dude, I remember this was one of those movies that I had bought. Around, I was I get in moods every once in a while. This was years ago, where I had bought all kinds of just random slasher movies that I'd never seen, and most of them I really liked. But this is one that, for the life of me, I could not make it through it. Every time I tried to watch it, I would either be like my mind would be on something else, or I'd go to sleep on it. Or whatever I couldn't hardly make it through it. Now this is the one with Daryl Hannah, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's Daryl Hannah right there. Yeah. Rachel uh, Ward is also in this. She's also. But you're right though, man. Like I don't remember anything about this. I know I've watched it. Sleep away, Ken. Yeah, I, I just don't remember uh, much about. I don't remember any enjoyment out of watching this movie. I'll just no. I may re give it another shot. Taste change. I don't know, but yeah, I, this is one I would. You know, if you'd asked me by myself, I would totally recommend you just steer clear of this movie. Someone is waiting for you. Someone wants to scare you to death. Even though Daryl Hannah looks really nice in it, you know, young Daryl Hannah. So I, I do know the one movie from '83 that I'm waiting on though. That I know came out in '83. Oh yeah, I think it's on here. One, I think I know the one you're talking about. Yep. Yeah. It damn sure ain't Final Terror. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, it's not. Like there's a there's a Blu-ray of that one out. The Screen Factory did on it. No doubt. Yeah. Joe Pat Leone is in this. Joe with pants. They did. <laughs> Let's see what's next. Come on. Hit me. There it is. Is that the one you were... That's the one. Okay. This has to be the the most memorable movie and like I remember this fucking trailer too. Yeah, this is the one that's even back in the early video store days going in after school and stuff. It's, Everybody that watched movies or rented them, they always what? told you and about it's coming the from nowhere. This movie. Yeah. Yep. That's really about all anybody ever talked about. But this movie does have some pretty good death sequences and stuff in it too. The dead walk the earth, the but growing up when we did, you kinda it was kinda like a rite of passage to watch this movie. One hundred years of hatred uncovered. Yeah, and then the other ones really I enjoyed them, but they didn't have the same vibe as this one. This no. One has its own separate structure, if you will. Yeah, they're not anything like this one, though. This one's like dead serious. There's nothing campy in it. But the other ones are like pure camp. And then back in the day, we did interview the director of Sleepaway Camp and Felissa Rhodes, played Angela. Robert Hiltzik, I think, was the guy's name. Yeah. Was that around the time Return to Sleepaway Camp came on? I think so, yeah. And this looks like a separate trailer for Sleepaway Camp. No one in will be admitted without a oh my God. Yeah. This guy really jacked up the video on this spot. He did, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on. Uh, How'd he fuck that one up so bad? Yeah. And it didn't, didn't have his quality control ready. Um, scalps. That's another one that I've heard of. I've heard of that one too. I've got that one. I think Trauma put that out. But like, I don't think I've ever watched it. Um, is it, it's a Native American slasher movie, right? I mean, that's what I'm. I believe so, player. yeah. What in God's name? What the fuck is going on? What? Oh, let's see. Hmm. 
I don't know if you're having difficulty with this, but I damn sure am. Yep, me too. There was another one, though, I saw on here. They had a different, like, um, picture. Maybe that's the one that's not fucked up. I don't know. The scalps is the, uh, we'll just talk about it briefly. I'm sure I can get it to play when I can download the motherfucker. Um, Native American slasher movie. I think that would be a good one for Vinegar Syndrome to maybe do a, a special edition of at some point. Yeah, I don't think that's ever been out again either since, uh, Maybe the DVD. I don't remember there being a Blu-ray of that. Yeah. I've got the fucking DVD out there somewhere, though. Is That was the last one, though, Scout. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of interested in checking that out. i got to say, just the plot line of it. Native American, now, you cannot call them Indians. You can call them Guardians, though. So if you wanted to call it a Guardian slasher movie, you could do that. Speaking of which, you remember the Guardian William Freakin movie? Yeah, I've seen that and Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. <laughs> They're working on part 3 right now. Yeah. So. I really liked uh, I really liked that movie, though. But anyway, 1983 was not a banner year for slasher films. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Will 1984 pick up? Or will so are they going to put worse? Friday 13 Part 3 in 1984? Because, like... No, Part 3 was our... We already did Part was it, 3. We already did that? Was it in 82? Like, I don't yeah, know I think how they, they do these. 83 was the first year they didn't have one from the you know the inception. No, so 84, okay. 84 would be part four, and then so on. Part five is 85, part six is 86. And then gotcha. 80, yeah, I think, I think that's how it goes. But uh, that is it for 1983. 83, like you said, not the best uh, – year going but hey it wasn't too bad you know it's better than 2021 i do think yeah anything is though i do think that business picks up a lot like in 84 and 85 especially like yeah, yeah so you gotta kind of hang tight for those because they're pretty amazing coming up for sure 85 so is... like i can only imagine what 85 is gonna be like because i know of like six or seven movies from that year that are like all-time classics so so yeah, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, thumbs up. Right up oh, here. Good shit. Right there. Yeah. Right cool. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So um, we will catch you guys next time. Check us out, Dead Pit on Patreon. And of course, deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Up your butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe and click that bell. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.